My name is Tina Bryant. I'm a physical therapist here at Murphy Medical Center. Um, I currently am working mainly in women's health and pediatrics. Um, and today we're going to be going over a little bit about our women's health program. So women's health physical therapy is just kind of like uh, your normal outpatient, except it specializes in the organs of the pelvic floor and the muscles surrounding the pelvic floor. So we kind of address all those little muscles that make up that group and even go into the low back and the hips because um, those can overlay and cause a lot of issues for women and both men. So some common symptoms that people have that we can help with here at physical therapy are things such as incontinence. Up to 5% of the worldwide population suffers from incontinence and that increases with age. So we're up to almost 50 to 65% of our elderly adults have incontinence. So it's a major issue that we can help here at MER2. Um, this can happen in youth. It's common in female athletes. Up to 25% of female athletes in high school suffer from some kind of incontinence. And it kind of grows as you know, pregnancy happens, postpartum, your incontinence is more common um, following that. And then again, as we pass that menopause stage in life, our incontinence levels increase. So here at MER2, we address mainly three types of incontinence. We address stress incontinence, urge incontinence, and mixed form incontinence. So stress incontinence would be that anything that causes stress on that pelvic floor. So running, jumping, squatting, picking up baby, all those things that women consider normal after childbirth to cause leakage, but really aren't. So we'll address that here. We also address urge incontinence. That sense that you have to go to the bathroom immediately. So it's common to have triggers with this form of incontinence, such as pulling into the garage, putting your key in the door, um, hearing that sound of water. All those things can lead you to have leakage because you feel like you have to go right now. And then we deal with mixed incontinence. So that's when you get a little bit of both. You get those leakage when you do hard activities, like that jumping, running, squatting, but also when you have that sense to use the bathroom, you have a little bit of leakage too. We can also help with organ prolapse, so that feeling of heaviness in your pelvic floor. We can help with pain um, pre and postpartum. Um, even pain if you haven't had a child, you can have pain for multiple different reasons. Tension is often found in the pelvic floor, so those muscles get tight just like any other muscle group would get tight. And we have techniques that we can use to relax those muscles and improve your quality of life. We can help with separation of the abdominal wall. Um, common during pregnancy can also happen without pregnancy, um, but addressing that can play into decreased low back pain, can play into, again, the decrease of incontinence symptom. We offer um, prenatal classes here as well to learn different uh, breathing techniques during labor, different positioning during labor to kind of help baby drop into the vaginal canal, um, different stretches and massage that you can do before baby comes to help prepare your body for that process. Um, afterwards, we offer you know, follow-up to see kind of how your pelvic floor is functioning after that delivery. And even if you've had a cesarean delivery, there's multiple things that we can do to help address that scar that you're gonna have and to safely get you back into activity without injuring those those tender abdominal muscles. Oftentimes, if you have recurring low back pain, you can't seem to kick it, there's often a pelvic floor component. So whether it's weakness in the pelvic floor that's not allowing your system to operate correctly or an overactivity that's pulling on the muscles of the low back, those are all things that we can address in women's health physical therapy. So for anyone who thinks they may benefit from women's health physical therapy or is a little nervous about it, um, know you're not alone. Most women are nervous about coming to see a women's health physical therapist and aren't sure how to start about that process. But, you know, doctors now are very willing to make referrals um, to women's health physical therapists 
and you can go to your primary care physician, you can reach out to your OBGYN if you have one. So if your doctor believes you're a candidate for women's health physical therapy or you have more questions about our women's health program here at MERTU, feel free to call us at 712-755-4342.